Hey guys, Baseblade here. Now, normally I don't do this, but because I still I still do it every month, I just like to let you know about Verified Giveaway, which is a website which is done by a very very good few close people who I do collaborate with um, in regards to the giveaways. Where I do give giveaways every month, there is at least a minimum of thirty pounds worth of Amazon stuff. On the call does do the. Uh, do the site I do talk to him very often so I'll link his description back down below but all you need to do to enter is go on to verified giveaway link is down below you'll see something like this follow all the little commands you gain entries and you just win free stuff you don't have to pay to get onto it you don't have to pay to enter it's just a bit of a free giveaway but it does seem that a lot of people don't really know about it so I just thought I'd do this little intro to let people know but it is still there and it's all free every month so thank you very much for listening and enjoy the video peace what is going on baseblade nation it's your boy back again with something different for you all this time now this i have been playing a lot recently because um as you probably know from some of the other videos i do actually quite like this it's it's quite good so i thought i'd record some of the first monsters i've ever killed and how i actually got on with it including all the deaths so even if, even if it is just a little touch edited, it's not massively all broken up because I wanted to give you all the full experience. And especially if it's a game you've never played before, because I do believe this is one of the better games that is on the PS4 at the moment. Um, it's a little bit different from anything that I do normally play, because I know you normally see me playing a card or Fortnite, something that's a bit run and gun. This can be a bit more methodical. You do have to track some of the monsters on this, and you do have to watch them, mate, see what their habits are see what they do within the actual game itself. I mean, like with this one, I uh, couldn't give you the proper name for it, but it's a big T-Rex looking fucking thing. I think it's not called like Andros or something, but as you'll see throughout this, once you start wearing it down enough, he runs to try and find either a drink or substance to get his health back up, which is one of the main components in this, is the monsters do self-heal. And uh, as you'll see, it'll come up with every now and again that I've broke apart or something, or something's fell off. Because th there are a lot of collectibles on this, and to be fair, the majority of the time I spend on this is used to grind to get more materials to build better armor, better weapons. Better things for my little cat friend, which is called a Palico. Which I've known that this game's been out for some time now, so you'll probably all know this, but... I'm not a big cat fan, I am a more more of a dog lover and look straight see what I mean within the first couple of minutes I fainted straight away because I rushed into this to be fair not knowing what the hell to do uh, even now you'd think from the size of that goddamn hammer I'm quite far ahead and probably start off with a bit of a claw hammer or something which you don't oh god now you do get a full range of weapons but luckily I died not too far away which my camp was um, close to the T-Rex looking thing but yeah use the environment to your advantage I mean look there's some flowers there which give health now I'm never 100% sure on whether or not these vitality flowers do give the monster health as well because there has been times where I think I've hit one of these and they seem to have got a bit stronger as well which is really weird. Did you see through his body then, that little bit of a weird glitch? I'll tell you what this is like, if you've ever played Dark Souls, which I've got a stamina bar as well, which obviously swinging a heavy weapon does build, lose a lot of stamina. And uh, it is a big thing in this, you lose stamina, you can't move your weapon, you can't run, you can't dodge. You also have to keep certain weapons sharp as well, which you might see me doing a bit, pull out um, a stone, to sharpen my weapon to make sure that it's uh, at its full potential, which is a bit, which was a bit strange to me, if I'm totally honest. But it's part of the game mechanics. And I would say, if it is something that you're not into, into the grinder games and things, this is definitely not going to be the game for you because there are a numerous amount of monsters to kill to get different parts and different pieces for different weapons, different sets of armor. This is about luck. I've hurt him enough now. He's, he's running away. He's had enough for now. 
Just talk to the library or something else. There's always something to collect, as you say. There's always something. These they're called scout flows. They find different objects and things for you to pick up, which are collectibles, which may be used for making potions or tracking monsters. So look, he's leaving footprints where he's going. So therefore, I know what's going on. But the scout flows are damn helpful. I mean, they tell you where things are, where things are hiding. But yeah, as you can see, look, I am still trying to knock him out. But with 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 the weapon I've got in, in hand at the minute, because he is such a taller taller opponent, it is a bit hard. You do have to try and um, work your weapons around what monster it is you're going to fight. I mean, if you're looking for some specific, and you're going to fight either a flying waven, I think they're called. Um, I think all the monsters are called casters as something waven. But if you're trying trying to find something that's flying, this hammer absolutely useless because you can't really jump up into the sky to batter the crap out of summit at full whack which is as you can see my hammer glowing there now look he's getting ready to start spitting spitting fire and some bars in it for this it's not too bad because he has got the legs which he can try and damage enough to get down and when he does bend down you have got a sort of upward swing to try and hit him in the face and uh you find that you do a lot of this. You're going to pull out a potion to revive your health. And that fecking cat pulls out one of these magical green flies to revive your health and it pees you off massively. Just like, well, what, what was the point in that? I could have just took it to start off with the dick. But yeah, the charge attack on this hammer, it, it is pretty massive, I mean look at that, I think I sparked him a little bit there, which like I say, you can put people, uh, the monsters, sorry not people, into states of like paralysis, poison, sleep, uh, you can make them dizzy, you can make them blind in some aspects so that they can't see what's going on, and um, with a lot of them they are very very visual and they will need to see you. And there are some who do do the tracking and the scouting via smell. Um, I'm pretty sure there's like a big bat sort of thing on this who can't see very well and he spends a lot of time sniffing and flapping about with you. But then again, if I do uh, end up recording one of them, one of the fights, you'll uh, see that later on. But yeah, it, it's, it's like I said, this. I've tried to play, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, but I have tried to play Monster Hunter games in the past on the. Uh, Game Boy and the Game Boy 3DS and whatnot, and I couldn't just get, I could not get into them for love and money. I, I didn't see the, see the crack. But with this, I've got to say, I think I found a new genre which um, I'm happy enough to play. Here you look, paralysing. I'm happy enough to play until I know, until completion, or until I've got as far as I think I can to wait for DLC but this is wasn't about using the environment I'm sure I kicked what's called a paratoad and look at that you can you can jump on them to attack them but the weapon I'm using at the moment I'm not sure if you actually can because at the meantime I'm using a bow and arrow but more on that later on as soon as I find out if you can or not but it's all about trying to get the get the right thing on this because you can dodge you can move up and down you can hold on with them thrashing about and then your last attack's always your charge attack and now look he's on the floor so I thought I'd give him an almighty whack even though he did bloody move and I missed his goddamn head and again missed again which is what I was saying about you got to make sure you got the right, right weapon the white weapon the right weapon for the right monster because otherwise it's no good and this is where you, your palico comes into play. See, this is all about look at sharpening, making sure that it's at, at its top peak, which as you can see is right there in the top corner. And yeah, it, it is a bit of a, a bit of a pain in the ass to keep sharpening it, but it's what needs to be done. But look from the looks of it, look, he's uh he's starting to get a bit bit more lax now he's taking some of these deep breaths and he's succumbing to the pain 
So hopefully now that this fight won't last too much longer, but I've got a feeling it will do just because <laughs> it's me. And anything that gotta come easy in this game will not come easy to me. But this is another good thing, that Palico, he, he does leave these little energy things just sitting about in case you do need them. Oh, there you go, look, he's on the move again. A bit slower now, look, he's, he's definitely uh, definitely not feeling it anymore. Definitely thinking about uh, his life choices and meeting me. Not thinking I'm uh, such a good friend anymore. But I was going to... I would say now he's actually going to start looking for something to eat to try and build his strength and his stamina back up because he's feeling pretty low. But as long as you now give him that chance, as long as you've always got him in that eyesight, always can grab his attention to start him off again, then you're going to be absolutely fine. Look, there we go, down again. I'm trying to bust him up miss the opportunity because these little monsters because don't get me wrong you can be focusing on one thing if there's anything else around you they will attack you if they don't attack the monster itself because you can get it where you can um, you be fighting something another monster will walk into the path and them like uh, what the fuck are you doing here we're having you and start a, start a bit of a ruckus a bit of a fight which is awfully nice at times. And me, I didn't know this was actually happening, but he got trapped in a, a natural natural trap. Didn't take advantage of it. He said I decided to go and uh, up my health, which, to be fair, wasn't that bad of an idea, but I could have just grinded on uh, this T-Rex looking thing because he, he, he has had enough. I mean, look, any any large swing in that now, he, he, ain't, he ain't feeling it. These little lizard things, they're called Jaegers, or Jaeger, they're absolutely doing my heading because if I try and build up an attack, they attack me as well. You can see they are trying to attack him because my Palico has befriended one, but even just the stray ones, they're trying to attack me, which is like, it's doing my goddamn heading all the time. All I want to do is just knock this dude down, collect his parts, and then be off. But no, nope. not having that at all. And on the subject of obviously knocking them out with the weapons and that, each weapon can, and some of them do have, elemental parts to it. I mean, you might have a, an enemy that's more susceptible to water, which means you can get a more water-based one, which I think this hammer is. I mean, every now and again, if you see, uh, there's a large splash that comes off it whenever you hit the enemy dead on. Which I'm not sure if uh, these are susceptible to water damage, but I wouldn't see why not. It's a fire breather. Look, can you see the visible scars now coming on him? Because he's took that much damage, he's uh, he's ready to plop. One other thing as well, I will say, um, obviously for people who've never either played this genre or never really got into monsters before, the longer something goes on, the more your health and stamina will deplete. Not just through obviously doing things, I mean through your basic stamina and health, as you can see. My mind does go down a lot throughout this, and there are ways and things you can do to boost them. Um, but I'll, I'll leave that for you, for you for you to actually find yourselves. But you do need to be aware that it can happen, and it does happen. I mean, there's been points where I've been in a couple of fights with monsters, and then not realised gone onto the third, and uh, my health and stamina is is so damn low, it's it's totally unreal. But there you go, you live and learn, don't you? Now it's a bit more tracking and a bit more finding, so um, I'll keep a bit rushed for this and we'll see you in a bit. Now I do know that wasn't much of a break, but this, to be fair, now I think, if, I th if I'm looking at it right, is where his actual slash home sort of base place is. Um, I don't let him rest though, like I said, if you can keep on top of him and keep him fighting. Look at that. Staggered in, we want it then because I know how tired he is and how absolutely had enough of life. The dinosaur is. I can't, cannot pronounce it. I'm gonna have to try and Google the proper names for these and how to pronounce them because I have no idea. I mean, you can ask people I speak to about it, I'll just still call him T Rex looking mother flipper because that's all I know him as. 
oh that's a bit of a pain in the backside as well just thinking about it if you're trying to drink something to revitalize your life and you have to roll out the way you'll only gain as much life as you've drank you will lose the potion in total I mean really to be fair as well that's the only good another good thing about the uh, this big hammer thing is that there are a varied amount of attacks you can do with it, you can't just swing and hit you know, there's like one way you can smash it all the way around there's all sorts of weird stuff you can do with it but this wasn't about look using the uh, the elements and stuff there's uh, flash flies or something or other you used to blind opponents also quick tip worth ca capturing as well because uh, they are collectibles and they do help towards your points for research Oh yeah, and the environment's unbreakable as well. Something else I forgot to mention. So a woman you could be fighting in a smallish arena. Next minute it could be a massive open thing because he's opened it up. As I was saying about it, I'm not sure what he's susceptible to. I'm pretty sure it's fire now if I think right because I've just seen I've just fired a pod at him which was made of fire and he's hurt him, but there we go. Off again on the run. And luckily on this one I did catch up to him while I was sliding down, managed to get a jump on him and uh, I see it on his fat ass, or his tail, whatever you want to call him. I tried to be nice, but there you go. So I couldn't let him escape, but unfortunately I didn't hold on long enough. And he got and chucked me off. Now luckily I don't think that any damage was done when he chucked me off because otherwise I think I'd have been dead rather quickly. But I held on for as long as I could, and uh, hopefully that was good enough. But we'll soon find out. So, I mean, as you can see, even though he's battered and bruised, and he keeps running off because he's tired, and that he's still putting up a fight. And some say, and he's running off again now. But it is something you will find if you go on an expedition where this is where, like, it's open world. You can go and do what you want. You go looking for what you want. If I mean, Christ, I always recommend it, man. I mean, if you're short on something, go on expedition to go and find your herbs and your mushrooms and your plant life and things to make sure you've got a big enough reserve. Especially if you're using stuff like I do, like the bow and arrow or the bow gun or any other sort of gun, because the ammo does deplete pretty fast. Especially when you can only carry limited quantities of it as well. Um, and then you've got your objectives whereas like I think this one was an objective the more hard the harder the objective it's going to be obviously harder the enemy but when you're in an expedition the enemies are I'd to say based on your rank whereas at the minute in game now I think I'm from like rank 11 or 12 I could jump into an expedition and easily I'd say easily, easily enough now take down one of these on low rank which like I said I don't think it's, it'd be a massive problem now but going into uh, something a bit more fruity shall we say it, it can be very 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 difficult which is I think which was like this was I think I was a pretty low rank I went into an objective which was either on the level or just over it and, uh, as you can see, I didn't struggle. Ah, this is the one where he's at his home, as you can see, look, because he's lying down, and I found out recently, an enemy that's asleep takes more damage. Which was a bit odd to me, because I thought, well, if he's asleep, surely he's regaining health, but there you go. As you can see, I'm just pounding away, because I think I've just woken up. But yeah, this is, this is his actual home, this is where he comes to sleep and whatnot. And I think this is now going to be his downfall. Oh, also as well, within the first few days of me playing this, I did try to batter the crap out of everything. I would always recommend capturing where possible, because you do get better goodies. If you can capture an enemy, and to do that you've got to wear it down massively. Massively before you can capture it. I would always do that, because it's, it's a lot easier to get the sort of stuff you're looking for. I mean, like, um, there's a, a special quest 
include which includes one of these dinosaur things and one of the things you have to get is something called a nosebleed don't ask me why but it is much much easier to get when uh, you've captured him than it is to knock him out there you go again look down for the count and he's gone so now you'll collect the parts dig them all up so that's the end of this one thank you so much for watching this um, my first foray into the monster hunter world and one of the first monsters I ever took down if you'd like to see more of this drop a comment let me know don't forget to like comment subscribe go and check out all my links below for entering competitions and friends and that and we'll see you soon peace